who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. Who that be? Hood folks. Who we are? Hood folks. Who we do it for? Do it for the hood folks. 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 Yeah, yeah. What's up, hood folk? This is Jeremy. You gonna say nothing? Oh, I didn't know you were recording. This is Rashad. Anyway, so, um, yeah. Today is a good day. How so? I've been smoking and drinking, getting high, snow powder, fucking bad bitches and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but no, for real though, I don't know why I got this cigarette in my hand. I bought this, I bought a pack of cigarettes, what, about a year ago? Yeah. And I, um, to do a prank on him, and I don't know, I don't know, I, I don't know where this cigarette come from. I don't know. I don't even know why I got it behind my ear. So I, um, I went walking earlier, got my exercise in. The went and got a haircut. Looking fresh, feeling fresh. Yeah, you are. And um, I was going, I went to Kroger to get some um, stuff to make some healthy zucchini spaghetti, you know, cause I be trying to eat healthy five days a week, five days out of the week for dinner. And um, for some reason, I just wanted some Culver's ice cream. And I try to suppress it. I try to fight it off. I try to resist the devil and the flee all that bullshit. It don't work. I don't know who come up with all this stuff, but let's just be real. Resisting the devil do not work. You just got to just give in to temptation or get yourself out of the situation altogether. And the only way I could defeat this battle is... Go ahead and lie. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to get the ice cream. <laughs> so this is like a vlog slash I don't know what this is going to be. It's just going to be a video that's going up today, the day you get it. Um, I've been doing good because the last time we had bad food was that barbecue place. We got some cake. We got some barbecue. We got some greens and macaroni and stuff. And uh, today, I don't plan on getting but a little thing of ice cream for Culver's. Are you going to get some help from Culver's? Yeah, I'm going to get some water. That's good. <laughs> That's good. You should be drinking your water seven days a week. Uh, a bunch of... But a bunch of times a day. Somebody asked me, what? why do I change my voice on videos? Like, when I was out there recording about the alligator, my voice got kind of like high pitch and stuff. It's because, like this... Man, that back on the dirt. This is like my everyday normal voice. What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Blah, blah, blah. But when I be recording videos and stuff, I animate my voice to make the video funny. You know, like... Oh, <laughs> oh, don't hit that car, man. Don't hit that car. <laughs> Look at that mother back over there. That big <laughs> but that's all. <laughs> but that's how I do my voice just for... It's for animation. That's all, y'all. I don't be want to talk in monotone. And plus, you know, I slur over a lot of my words too. Like some people ask me why I slur over my words because if I just I, I be cussing, and sometimes you know YouTube don't trip on cussing and profanity like y'all do. YouTube, y'all think YouTube is a, a is a top tier holy site. It really isn't. YouTube don't be uh, tripping on profanity. But some words are offensive to YouTube, and they might try to get you. And I, look at that Cadillac right there. That's an old school caddy. I can't even get it. He's driving on. Um, but you know, YouTube don't trip on some words. You know, some words YouTube don't trip on. And so that's why I slur over certain certain words so I can get them on here, and you know, like that. But I tell y'all something I want to do that's so petty and childish, and me being grown, I won't do it. And that's another old school cuss. What's up, all the old school car? Pull up if I can get a good view of it. Pull up some. Galaxy 500. What? That's the name of the car? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Can y'all see it? Okay, two things. Number one, I don't know why I want to just ride up beside somebody like that. 
and throw something they can't take off, like a chicken leg or a cup of water or something on them. But, they, but they, they might retaliate with a machine gun. Or number two, I want to get out the car and get in with them and say, hey, what's up? What you getting into? Let's ride up. I got some gas money. <laughs> they got that thing hooked up, too. Let's see, nice. let's see me get oh, it. That thing here clean. I want me something like that. Would y'all try that hood, folks? I'm pretty sure y'all should say yes. If you won't drive it, what's wrong with you? You brought that. Oh, I know what y'all want. They want a Mercedes. I got oh, a yeah. no, I got no, Mercedes. A, a Lexus. I got a Lexus. Y'all, my uh, my day has been going real good. Like, it's, this has been really a good day. Like, even though I've had some issues today, this has really been a good day. Like, I need to go out and get me a drink to celebrate my good day that I've been having. I guess I treat myself to an ice cream treat. <laughs> don't that look good, y'all? Anyway, y'all, I don't know. Do I want to do a mukbang, or do I want to just continue vlogging, or what? I don't know what this video is gonna be. So, we got the camera set up. This is how we hood rid the camera. We had to put it on this and this. I like this truck, but I hate how they made the dashboard of this truck. They didn't make this dashboard uh, vlog friendly, you know. So I just switched over to the big camera. Ice cream, I love ice cream. It's my weakness. Kovo's ice cream used to be good as a custard. The last time I had it was real good. Let me see. You can count on Rashad to put some brownies in here. I taste brownies. And sneakers. Damn, this is good. Ice cream tastes a little weak today. They are, they are busy. They are busy, but. Mm. So me and Rashad, we're different. Rashad loves um cake, like pound cake, birthday cake cake me i personally am uh, i like ice cream my weakness is ice cream it ain't cake my weakness is ice cream and i don't like um i don't like i don't like healthy ice cream and i don't like healthy sweets if i'm gonna eat sweets i'm just gonna eat the real thing i don't want no sugar-free ice cream I don't want no sugar-free cake. Well, I don't eat cake like that. I do, but you know. I don't want no sugar-free diet, nothing. I want the real thing. Maybe just less of it, but. Mm, Y'all, I've been eating up all the damn ice cream. <laughs> it but it, been take, it was, took so damn long to get our food because it's so damn busy right now. Not our food, your food. <clears throat> Is this good? Taste what you take. Tell me what you think. The ice cream to me tastes different now. It's still good, but it ain't like it was real creamy. It's like right now seeing like a fake blueberry. But it's good. <clears throat> Did you get some healthy at least for people when we talking about us on YouTube? Bad. Yeah, I got some healthy. Hold some on. napkins. <laughs> Napkins don't have calories in them. <laughs> um, this place is busy, yeah, but they are made out of cardboard. What? So they do have cards. Yeah. Watch it out. Oh, uh, when we get when we get stuff out of store, I had to wipe it off. I've been watching. I do. I've been watching a lot of other YouTube people do mukbangs and stuff, and. I noticed that unless I, unless they don't show it on camera. I, what? French fry. Those are um, carb-free French fries. They have zero carbs in them. I was coming here just for ice cream, man. Y'all see why? Ain't no scales going down in this house? Actually, they are. Well, I just work off what I eat. Damn, the burger smell good. You know, we get comments saying that, you know, Jeremy, for you to be saying you don't want certain foods, 
you still be eating it. Oh, I paid for it, number one. But when we do mukbangs, I like to hold the food up on the camera. And from a shot, he be talking, he don't be want to hold the food. And I be telling him to get the food. Like the last video we did with the barbecue, um, I was holding the food because I want to hold the See, now he, and I was just holding the food. I kept telling him to get the food. A lot of times we do videos, we cut out stuff like, like normally I would just. Damn, I hate these damn tear. You should tear from the bottom part. Or like open it like a dip and just pull it out like that. Um, see, easy and just just get a French fry and rake it out. But normally when we do videos, I like to hold the food up in the camera and I tell him to you know get food and. Ooh, I cannot stand people that dip their French fries in like that. I hate it. I hate to see people dip French fries in ketchup. I like to see my ketchup all over my French fries. Now if you dip your French fries in there, do your thing. But oh, I be hold. I like to hold the food up in the camera as we eat it because it's supposed to be a mukbang. And then sometimes I do. <laughs> I'm gonna leave all this in the video, right? Because usually when we edit, that. we edit, like that. Let's see him pouring the kids on there. I cut all that out and I cut out the video. Hey man, get your food. Eat it. Why you ain't eating this stuff? And then he be tripping and stuff, not getting the food. Then I find myself getting back in it. But y'all, it, it ain't that serious. Now you got some, where well, your pep at? I ain't done. I ain't like a lot of ketchup and pepper. Yeah. Yeah. We like a lot of sauce in our food. Yeah, we like it saucy no such. All right. There's a lot of families in here eating. Is this a family restaurant? Yeah. I mean, I know, it's, you know what I mean. Like, do you see more families in there? Yeah. It's a lot of families in there with their kids or their family and the girl, you know, boyfriend, girlfriend. Pepper. Pepper make french fries taste so good. Uh-oh. Mm. So, y'all, this really ain't no mukbang. This is like a... We just chilling. We just chilling and I'm eating french fries. I love french fries. Open that burger up because I asked them for extra mayo, extra ketchup, and they show sure hell didn't put it on there. Maybe that's why they gave you extra in the packs. You know, I was also read. I read a comment, a post that said, "What, what? When you see a cheeseburger, what is the one thing that turn you off?" And people were like, "They don't want their burgers to have you no know, lettuce, tomatoes, pickles, none of that stuff on. They only want their burgers to be like meat and cheese." Be meat and cheese, and I'm like, I don't see how you do it. I like mine's meaty, full of vegetables. Put the napkin up. Right there. Oh, I gotta stop the camera because the battery going dead. Stop for a minute. Hold on. Right, we back. We had to change the battery out. Let's get a thumbnail. This ain't no damn mukbang. <sighs> mm, that smells good. Hold on, let's, we need to put detail on your new haircut. Why you got, look like, take it. Dude, now, there's another thing we cut out the video. Take your glasses off, hold take them off. You take your glasses off. All right. <clears throat> now get your food. Nah, you won't hold it. Come closer then. Show me a new haircut, show me how sexy you are. Look in the camera, this is the camera, look I'm like I'm looking at the don't camera, look motherfucker. At, don't look at your face. I'm looking at the camera, I motherfucker. I can't stand when people vlog doing this. Look at, see, I'm looking at myself. I, <laughs> that's why y'all, when we do videos, you be seeing a guy stuff on my mustache. And, like, cause I don't look at myself. So many people when they vlog, they look at themselves like I'm looking at myself right now. I look dead in the camera. So I don't, you know. Anyway, show me your, come closer. <laughs> All right, get your shine on. No, no, uh, give me a sixty. You trying to take somebody's grown daughter to the prom? No, not the prom. You too old to go to the prom. That's you. That's pervert vibes. Um, uh, you trying to take somebody' grandmama to the prom? There you go. All right, hold on. All right, that's enough. I love, I love the French fry. <clears throat> so. When I was in Culver's, I'll, I'll be like holding my food. See, that's why he be want me to hold it. <clears throat> and then while I'm holding it, I be finding myself just, just 
doing something. But <laughs> when I was in Cobras waiting on my food, which it took forever, this couple came in. They got them two orders of, um, you know, whatever they got, two, mm. two different kind of food. And then guess who pulled out their card? And this was a white couple. Did what? Pull out what card? The woman pulled out her card and paid for her boyfriend. What? What you trying to say? That what that don't mean, man? I guess black folks don't. Um, black women are the only ones that love them, for men to pay for um pay for their food every any and every time, no matter how serious the relationship is. Oh man, you trying to get our channel taken out? Mm -mm. God, dog. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just. Even though I'm thinking it, I didn't say it. <laughs> no. I'm just saying. Mm -mm. These fries are good. Can I have a bite of your burger? Mm hmm Listen, I, I don't like bite. I don't like beef. I don't eat ground beef, and I don't want no burger. I am going to taste a piece of the burger because he insisted. Hold this. I also hate when people do muck veins. Don't let it drip out. And they be like, I can't get all this in my mouth. It's too much. But if Mr. John was over there, you would get all his meat in your mouth. What if it was a man? Me and do it too. Man, it's just too much. I can open wide. And it's all on your, I just told you to watch out too. Mmm, mmm. Get it. I just told you to watch yourself. Mmm, mmm. But this is how Richard is on video. Y'all yeah, don't know in between takes, I be cussing him out. Man, wash your damn mouth off, damn! And yet you still got that on your mouth. But I be doing it, no, I'm saying I'm doing it talking about you. Hold up. I do, that's another, <laughs> when we doing video, I do be cussing them out in the middle of video. I edit mm -hmm. all that out. I, a lot I stuff guess out. I take the second bite. Is it good? Mm. Just a fail, man. We're going down the wrong road. We should have went on to the grocery store and got the zucchini, the the turkey meat, the everything, and just made zucchini spaghetti. Cause this is a failure. It's not a fail. This is actually <laughs> very good. This is not healthy at all. It's not healthy at all. I ain't even gonna lie. But this is so damn good. This burger is good. All I really wanted was this, though. I really wanted this ice cream. And he gonna get a big size. You should have got me a little kid size. Hey. This is too big. Yeah, they, they ice cream has definitely changed. It's like Bluebell. Bluebell used to be my absolute favorite ice cream. And after the Listeria, they changed it and it was so sweet. And this is what this is. This is still... It's it's good, but they it's way more sweeter now. It's way real sweet. I know one thing. I won't be getting no more of this ever. All right, well, you done ate the whole container. Let me get at least a little corner. I won't eat no more of that. <clears throat> look at that. I know all. Uh, look at that dude right there. A look like I got on a diaper. I bet she can pull him, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oh, um, y'all, let me tell y'all this other thing. If somebody tell you something, and then your soul, your mind, and your heart, your everything tell you it is too good to be true, it's too good to be true. Okay, finish that. Ooh. I'm trying to. No, I'm talking about finish the sentence. Now. When we bought our air conditioning unit in 2022, last year, May the 5th, the sales guy came to the house and he sold us this unit. You know, he sold all us the bells and whistles. You know, we're gonna tear out the ducts in your ceilings and replace your ducts. You're gonna get a new unit outside, a new thermostat. Everything will be new. Everything will be new. And we're gonna give you a 10 year warranty that's going to cover labor and maintenance I bet labor and parts so you're going to be worry free for air conditioning at least for 10 years I said well damn that's not a good deal I don't have to worry about air conditioning for 10 years okay you um make sure that you 
get your uh, air conditioner and unit service every year where they come out and check up on it and you know just check up on it and keep it up to par you won't have any problem I said okay so it's gonna be like a hundred bucks a year nothing major I said oh that's cool I call before the summer come in cause see a lot of people like to floss I see him early this dude in this ultimate yeah, he had got out, came in, and got right back out. Came right back, walked back, back out the store. But anyway, a lot of people like to. Some of it wrong. He's taking the burger back. A lot of people like to floss with clothes and shoes and jewelry and cars and all that stuff is good. It's your thing. It's your thing. Me, I like to floss with comfortability. As in, you know how you go to some people's house in the summertime. Man, close that door. You let my air out. Oh man, the air conditioner be running all day. Turn it down, turn it up soon. Don't need to be that. Put it on 76. Not over here. I don't play that. Hell no. Pop sick of him. When you come in my house, you're gonna be like, oh my god, it feels so good here. I mean, I don't care if my air conditioner come on May the 1st and run all the way to September nonstop. Never cut off. I'm never gonna turn it down. It's gonna be comfortable. I like the, that's how I like the floss. I don't be stuck on no light bill price. Okay, I'm, I don't want to say it like that because I still be stuck. <laughs> oh, just about to say. But I don't be stuck on no light bill. How much you gonna cost? I don't care about none of that stuff. I'm gonna have my air conditioning wide open, and I'm not checking no thermostat unless I'm checking to make sure that bitch is on 65. Oh, uh, anyway, so I call the the first of Mar May for them to come out to do the list service. You know, to make sure everything's good, so I can be ready for the winter time or whatever. And so the the woman gonna tell me, um, Jeremy, do you like to renew your maintenance? I said, what maintenance? She said, oh, you pay a maintenance once a year, and that means they comes out, they come out two times a year, right before the summer and right before the winter, and to make sure that your air conditioner is working up to par. You know, if you have any issues with your air conditioner, you know, if you tear up on you, you know, we'll come out and service it, you know, all that kind of stuff. I said, well, I already have a 10-year warrant on it, so I had nothing to worry about. She said, oh yeah, you got the 10 year warranty on it, and that's only for the parts, but it doesn't cover the labor unless you have the maintenance. But you gotta pay $350 every May to renew your maintenance uh, maintenance subscription, and what that $350 covers is your labor. So I'm like, I'm confused. So for the next 10 years, I've already paid 12 grand on an air conditioning unit replacement. Mm -hmm. So I gotta also pay $350 a year to keep up the labor and the part of the labor and the stuff on the air conditioner. So practically I'm finna pay another $3,500 on top of the 12,000 that I already paid. If I don't pay the $350, that means if my unit messes up, I'm gonna have to pay for the labor and they gonna come in and charge me a service fee. Bullshit. Bullshit. So that's why I tell you, everything is too good to be true. I knew there was some bullshit when they said you got 10 years labor and 10 years part warranty. That shit only work if you pay the additional $350 every May to keep it going. Should have read the small print. <laughs> Bitch, fries are getting cold. You want some more? My sugar going up and I don't even got sugar. I'm so mad I can start. Okay, my good day over with. But anyway, yeah. So that wasn't BS. He told me about it um, when I was at work. He, he, you know, he was texting me, telling me what's going on. And then when we talked, he told me everything. And I said, now they know they own some baby back bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> baby back guy. Yeah, it's a baby back bullshit. I gotta use that one. That was funny. <laughs> Look at her. But that's how they got you. That is how they got me. That's because how they got you. If this dude would have told me, honestly though, if this guy would have told me that this is how the warrants to go, I probably would have looked for a different company. Like I probably went for a different company. And the only well, shit, the only reason we went with this company because I was like, well, they unit, they are, um, they service is a little cheap because other companies that quoted us prices for air conditioning, it was like twenty thousand dollars. I was like, damn, that's high. Who got twenty thousand dollars? We don't got twenty thousand dollars. Shit, we don't even got a thousand dollars. Shit, we only got a hundred dollars. We 
We bought this on a damn rush card, and when they run it through the machine, they're going to be depressed. See, you see how my voice is changing? Like, it's getting higher and higher because I'm on the video, and my voice get animated when I get on video. But when we cut the camera off, it's going to be like a different tone. See, this is what I don't like. What? I can't hold this box and hold see? this at the same time. There you go. So he want me to hold his stuff for him. So when y'all see us doing videos and I be holding the food, because y'all said, Jerry be hogging the food. Eat my ass with chopsticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of eating. <laughs> <laughs> I be thinking some people be watching the video just to point out what they don't like about it. Like, I could tell them a million things in the video and they'll just point out the stuff that they don't like. You know, but it's all good though. Shout out to the people that like us though. <laughs> this was really an unplanned video. This was an unplanned video. Very unplanned. Like for real, for real. It's it's like we wanna. There's some stuff we wanna do on YouTube. Like I wanna. I really do wanna change this vibe of this channel. Like when I was telling y'all, I wanna do serious topics, but I don't wanna be serious all the time because I feel like people don't wanna hear serious topic all the time. But then I want to clown and joke and crack jokes and cut up. But then I don't want it to be like that because I feel like when people people see me on on YouTube or social media, especially on social media, and on my in real life, and they like see I joke and clown a lot, they think when they get around me that that's what they gonna get. It is usually ain't that. My joking and clowning is naturally it comes naturally, but. For the most part, I don't be doing that in real life. And people be like, oh, man, you different in person. You act funny. Like, I'm not fun acting. I like to observe my room and read the room. And if I if I pick up on fake people, full of shit people, lame, I, I just keep to myself. Like, I don't send that. Rashad is the one that talk to everybody. In this relationship, he the one that, he the one that does more talking to me. Sometimes. You come at me with some bullshit. Another bite. I'm sorry. We're going to have some problems. Should I eat another bite? <laughs> it's on you. You don't want to complain. Because I don't eat ground beef. You know eat ground beef. That ain't no hair, is it? I don't know. Is that hair? Yeah. <laughs> eat it. I'm not eating nobody's hair. What the fuck? That's not nobody's hair. Who was it in? That was probably a dog. Oh hell no! You all want to go I'm ahead and eat it. I'm a vegan. Go ahead and eat it. I'm that, vegan. That, that, that was no hair. Go ahead. My name is Tommy Brown, Tabitha Brown, brother Tommy. Go ahead, and eat it. Taste it. Get a bite. Taste it. Oh, I'm going the other side. Then I'm going the right side. Why are you trying to get me to put out in? Damn, that was a big ass bite. Mm mm. Mm mm. Now your hair in it. Mm 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 mm. Mm -mm. No, don't spit that out. That was yours. Oh. Mm -mm. Anyway. But I um I don't want to just do videos about me walking in the park and exercising. And I noticed that y'all don't like a lot of healthy cooking. Like, because every time I cook something healthy, <laughs> y'all forever, uh-oh, -uh, give me the real thing. I'm like, oh my God, bitch, I know that. We all know the real food tastes better than the healthy alternative. Um, but I've noticed that y'all don't be want. If I did a video tomorrow on carrot dogs or, you know, like on <laughs> relish bites or some shit, y'all gonna be like, I don't see that. Ooh. And ain't even gonna watch the video. Right? <laughs> but if I did some deep fried stuffed mush, no, not mushroom, deep fried chicken, stuffed chicken, that would get a good bit of views and, you know, people want to see greasy food and then when I'm eating salads and healthy food, I don't want to see that, but if I was eating pizza and burgers and french fry every video and nothing healthy ever, if that ass ought to be eating a salad. Like, my, never mind, we I'm ain't gonna get to that salad. point. But yeah, so. And I gulp down so much water. Water is good for you. You gotta always make sure your body stays hydrated with water. Come on, Because it helps. It helps clean out your, your kidneys and, and your blood and all that too. That's why I don't like eating ground beef. Like, mm mm. It had me feeling bloated. Because my body just, for some reason, my body just so used to eating turkey meat that ground beef, ground beef just all. Oh, they must have gave him something free too. 
I know, because he walking like a ballerina tippy toe. I can't <laughs> stand to see a motherfucker walk on their tippy toe. Why are you putting him? Snickers and brownie? I was right then. What? That it was sneakers and brownie. But yeah, this is real sweet. It's real sweet. It's real. It's extra sweeter than what it used to be. That burger was okay. I won't, I don't want no burger no more. This is just uh, probably once in five months for me for eating a burger. No, he said it every time. He said he was going to eat no more cake for six months on the last video. No, and I haven't. <laughs> well, it ain't been six months yet. <laughs> oh, you just did the cake video, what, six days ago? No, about four. No, it was six days ago. What day was it? No, it was Monday. What's the what's the day? Sunday. What's the day? Sunday. Today's Saturday. Saturday. As we're doing this video on Saturday. And you did a cake video Monday. Yeah, it was Monday. Monday we did that cake video, and the barbecue. <clears throat> the barbecue. Ooh, I feel full and bloated. I'm about to go home and eat me a salad now. <laughs> you should have got you a diet coke. I like to see people. I like to see people order a whole bunch of food, bad food, and then watching out a diet coke. But that's smart though. Even even though we laugh at that, that's kind of smart because drink juice. We call it drink. Some people call it soda. Some of y'all call it soda and pop. But I call it drink. Pop. We call it drink from my own time. Well, well I, my house. I put it like that. My house. We call it drink. Drink is Pepsi, Sprite, whatever. But it is so many calories in just regular drink. You know, I don't miss drinking drink. The last time I had drink, what you had? That Sprite. Mm -hmm. And I took some of that Sprite. A diet Sprite. A diet Sprite. I took some of that. And that Sprite felt like I was drinking glass. I said, hell no, because I haven't drunk I haven't drunk any kind of drink since like 2011. And so I had drunk this drink back here in, look how he driving fast. What's up with folk driving fast in parking lots? Just the parking lot. Look at that little dude right there. <laughs> that little long dude. That little two drop. <laughs> I would like to I would like to turn the camera around and just laugh at people, but I don't want to laugh at people for several reasons. Number one, um the reason I don't want to laugh at people because I, I would never judge people. I don't judge people, but I do like to crack jokes on people. That's number one. But number two, you never know who know whom. Because like I said, we could be recording a video and y'all be like, oh that's right across from my grandma's house. I'm like, okay. And then I record a video laughing at somebody, then you'll go you like I said, they would never say nothing about never doing a video, but I put the camera around showing the little dude I was just laughing at. Then my cousin, you know them on YouTube are laughing at you. Then they cousin gonna come to my video, put something in the comments. I need to leave their name at their mouth. Then they'll go to my Instagram and send them best on Instagram. You know, they'll go all out their way to contact me. Right. To complain. You know. But anyway, yeah, but yeah, so um I need a haircut too. We try our best to refrain from showing people, right? Because, like they, like you said, we're, it's not about us, you know, really like clowning them and then you know speaking bad on them. We just be laughing and having fun. That's what y'all do, right? Y'all be at the club looking at Shanice's uh, wig, and you say, "Oh, that bitch got on a wig that he's going to tilt it to the side. She need to change that." And don't let him get on Jamal ran over Jay. Right. <laughs> you know. Them look like he done wore those for like five years straight. I'm like, come on. So, now. you know. And I be, I know when I be out of public, especially when I be walking. When I be walking, I know folks be laughing at me about how I be breathing hard, how I be sweating, how my dude be looking when I be going walking, especially them, them flip flap be leaning in the middle. I know folks be laughing. And I don't care. I know for a fact that folks laughing at me. And the kids, I can't stay a little kid. Every time I go somewhere, a little kid is always pointing at me laughing like that time was a Phantom Dollar and the ball kept saying Harabe, Harabe. And I didn't like, what are you calling me Harabe? What a Harabe? And the catcher said, oh, that's that gorilla they had killed. I said, you call me a gorilla? <laughs> I promise you, I wish I could pick him up and take him over to Casey Anthony house. He won't be laughing no more. <laughs> 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 so I know people cry. I know people clown me all the time. When I be in the grocery store, Grocery shopping, I tell you this. I had made look at that. <laughs> look at Scrooge. <laughs> Why you get out of the car like this? I know, right? <laughs> I got oh. angry at the world. Oh. <laughs> 
Yeah, Damn, dude. that ain't filled with nothing but nursing homes. I know. <laughs> ain't nothing but nursing homes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that dude. Ooh, that's a depend. I, I can depend on that ass being shit. <laughs> <laughs> Now we do have a bad habit of laughing at people. <laughs> oh, 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 but um, I forgot. I totally forgot what I'm finna say. I totally forgot. But if we do, like, sometimes we come and sit in the park like a place and we just be laughing at people. And I guess I know people laughing at me. Oh, that's what I'm finna say. I was at Walmart and I had got some avocado, but I dropped one on the floor and it went. I, I wanted this. If, if it was not, then I was gonna buy one. I did this, but I had got an avocado. It went up on the roll up on the thing. And I I bent over and I mean my ass was wide up in the air like a open car trunk. <laughs> and this black dude walked behind me and I saw his face. He was cracking up laughing because that air was wide moon like his face. <laughs> And I got up laughing myself. I knew he was. I knew he was looking at that like bust out laughing. So I'm not that. I'm not easily triggered. Like I don't. I don't get. But people laugh at me. I laugh at it too. It's even when y'all say jokes about me in the comments. If they be funny, I laugh at it. Only time I don't find so funny is when you putting people down and insult people and trying to hurt their feelings and break them. Now I'm not with that. That's never funny to me. But if you just crack a joke with me, shit, I laugh at it. I laugh at myself. Because it's jokes. Right. That's all it is. And a lot of folks, they, they get real. I mean, you don't even be really d downing them or trying to degrade them. But you make a joke about them. When, especially if they make a joke to you and you come back to them with a joke, they get very upset. Why you talking with your fingers like Holiday Heart? They get they get very upset. No, I'm not. Why, why is this thing falling my hand? It's supposed to be falling in your face. Move your hand out the way, gay unsay. Okay, there we go. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so um, it's just a joke. Like I come back at you with a joke, and then you want to get offended. But right. it's just jokes. That's all it's it is. Joke. It's just jokes. I like good jokes. Now I tell you what I don't like when it comes to jokes. Um, I also know. Oh, I tell you what kind of jokes I don't like. I notice this too that when it comes to us black people i'm only speaking for black people because i'm black black people like uh when it comes to joke black people the jokes i don't find funny is getting the people jokes getting folks business jokes like this one comedian i follow he from memphis and i think he's funny i still think he's funny but one his his comedy is funny overall but when the jokes he make when he getting folks business i don't think that's funny black people love that like Y'all, like he, I'm not saying he's saying this, but uh, this is an example of jokes that black people think funny that I don't think funny. Y'all bitches going around here with them 20 some people wigs. Y'all need to take that shit off y'all fucking head looking like a fool. And then everybody all that. <laughs> y'all bitches think y'all doing something, getting no PPP loan. Y'all bitches ain't doing nothing with that money. Y'all should have been going to take that money and get y'all roof fixing y'all house. <laughs> to me, that's not funny. That kind of comedy is not funny. Like when you. When a person is minding their own business, even though I know that sounds very contradictory, like what I just said, I'm not telling them about what they need to do. Like, I don't care what, if you came at the house with a chicken suit on, I might make jokes about you, say, ooh, Michelle, got your chicken suit. Look at that damn chicken suit. What kind of wings you got? Hey, wear your chicken suit. I'm not gonna tell you. You sure I'll take that dumb ass chicken suit out looking like a damn big bird? That fucking shit look like a damn fool. This fool coming out with a chicken suit on, you need to take that stupid shit. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. So I don't like that kind of comedy. Like, it, like that's why when I watch, like my favorite comedians are people like Lavelle Crawford, Dolomite, you know, them kind of comedians to me. Even Cheryl Underwood and what's wrong with you? Boy, you better not try to have no stroke in here with me. I'm trying to throw my joke to you. Try to have a, yeah. <laughs> It's, it's if you gas. if you're a fat motherfucker, make sure you keep you some aspirins in your car at all times and in your house. Because if you ever feel like you got pressure in your chest, you're finna die. Chew on you some aspirin. That aspirin gonna thin your blood out till you get 911 call to your house. But anyway, like I was saying, my favorite comedians are them types of comedians. I don't like comedians that are worrying about what folks doing. I don't worry about what folks doing. You get it? Do that make sense? Yes. Am I making sense? Like you're I don't make a sense to me. I don't I don't make y'all don't notice I don't make videos on YouTube worrying about what nobody I don't care. Like I don't care. I would laugh at you, but I'm not gonna be caring about what you're doing. Look at them legs. 
Look at that dude right there. <laughs> brown bag special. I know it. <laughs> did, 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 did she throw him out? Oh, no, she's she been backing up. up. <laughs> oh, he going to get a table. I'm seeing a lot of couples. What, you, they going to make reservations? <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing a lot of couples going into covers, like a lot of families first and uh -huh. couples couple second. You know, let society tell it couples only eat at restaurants that have tablecloths and all that stuff. You're right. Like that you have the that you tip the customer. Tip the waiter. And yeah, stuff. the waiter and big bucks. Ooh, no, look, look at her. that ass. All right. She got some nice legs too. Legs, hips, and body. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but yeah, what was you saying, babe? I'm sorry. I don't that know. That was mesmerizing. Wait, nah, don't do too much. Well, when's the last time you went to a restaurant that had a tablecloth, a tablecloth on it? Ooh, shit, years? It's been a while. I do want to go to a restaurant with tablecloths. For the most part, if you got tablecloths and stuff, it's, it's real expensive. You know, it's real expensive to eat there. Right. Now, one reason I don't like going to a restaurant with tablecloths and, and utensils because they be using the same forks and spoons. And that same fork that was just in another person who got gonorrhea mouth, now you shoving that same fork in my cause you know they just washing off with water and they no soap in there. They that rinse it off and put it in even on Well TV. they say they use uh sanitizing. Non bleak system. sanitizer. That's what they say. I want I want there to be so strong that when I'm drinking it, it chokes me out. <laughs> I want to be choked out. So what you mean you want to drink it? When I I mean not drink when I That's eat, what I'm saying. It. You said drink it. I'm thinking I'm about a cup. It. I'm thinking about a cup. I used to have this friend when I went to school. And every time I went to her mama house, well, I went to her house to hang out with her. I like, can I get a glass of water? They used to give me some Kool-Aid and glass of water, and I could just taste the bleach on the glass. I used to be feeling so confident. It, that, I mean, the water was just filtered out with bleach. I'm telling you, they, they washed their dishes and bleach, put the bleach in the dish water. I used to feel so confident. Mm -hmm. it, bleach ain't killed you. Drinking from outside the hose ain't killed you. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> You're right. So let's wind this up. All right. This video. Well, hood folks, I didn't expect this video to go this long. This camera right here. Let me show y'all. The camera right here said movie recording has been stopped automatically. The maximum recorded time has been reached. So that means it's time to end this video. <laughs> time to end it. It's time to end it. So let's end it like this. You see how I'm holding the camera? Can you see yes, yourself? I can see myself. Hold on. Let me see if I do this. All right. All right. Let's end it like this. All right. Tell them what they need to do, Rashad. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> and press that ugly-ass <laughs> bell button to get notified whenever we put up new content on this page. And if you got to this far end of the video, thank you for watching it. We appreciate you. You the most valuable player, the MVP. We're going to see you out some rings. Yes, the rings will be around your bathtub, but you still look good at a ring. <laughs> uh, you better use that CLR. What is it? Oh, okay, I got you. That bad stuff. <laughs> All right, y'all. So we will see y'all next go round. Hope you enjoyed the video. Have a good day and peace. Peace, up, folks.